The technology is already here to make our new smart e-homes of the future. So the first thing would be the furniture, the paint we have on our walls, the cushions and so on can be made with smart materials. We can change the colour of those materials. We can change the texture of them. There's always this concept of the good life, you know, growing our own fruit and veg. Well, we can do that inside. You can grow your own fruit and veg with a hydroponic indoor garden without the need for land outside. We have these chapters where our requirements for, for a home are very different. What about the modular home? You say, here's the module, I want that one have that I want an extra bedroom it comes in very easily slotted on then when the children leave you say well I don't want all that space anymore those can go so the home is much more efficient we've all seen electric vehicles on the road and that technology is growing the batteries required within them the charging times are getting smaller faster you can then charge your own car everything will self-contained at the moment we waste so much water we filtrate water, it's very expensive, use a lot of energy in order to be able to get filtered so that we can either drink from it, we can bath in it, or we can flush our waste down the toilet in it. You don't need the same kind of water, we only need what's called brown water, unfiltered water, to flush our waste down the toilet. The great thing is that people are taking small steps now, like getting a smart meter. Smart meters really are the, the key to that. They allow us to use electricity, gas, much more efficiently uh, and in a greener way. It's so exciting uh, that the smart e-home is on its way. It's on its way very rapidly, um, but there are small steps that we can take now. And probably the, the first one is to get that smart meter in to make that energy usage much more efficient.